Alright, in this video, we shall derive the expression for the magnitude of the resultant of two concurrent vectors using the parallelogram law of vectors addition. So let's get down to business. Now consider two vectors A and B acting on this point over here. So let this be A and this side represent the vector B. Acting on this point over here O. Let's name the remaining points. Let this point be Q. This point be S. Uh, this point be P. And this point be N. What parallelogram law states is that if two vectors acting on a same point represent the adjacent sides of a parallelogram, then the resultant of the two vectors would be the diagonal of the completed parallelogram. So what we understand from this statement is vector A plus vector B would give us the resultant vector R which is the diagonal of the completed parallelogram. So we can write OP plus OQ equals OS which is same as vector A plus vector B equal to resultant vector. And now we move on to the derivation of the expression for finding the magnitude of this resultant here. Now see that I've dropped a perpendicular from S to N so that we obtain this right angle triangle over here O N S. Now using Pythagoras theorem we can find the magnitude of this resultant here. Pythagoras theorem states that the square of this side equals to the square of this side plus the square of this side. So that would be R squared equals O N squared plus N S squared. But O N equals O P plus P N. So we substitute O P plus P N in place of this. So R squared equals O P plus P N squared plus N S squared. Now this will be our equation number one. Now let's be more specific with the angles. Let's name the angle between the two vectors be theta. And because this angle is theta, the angle between PS and PN also will be theta. Now why is that? It's because the lines OQ and PS are parallel to each other. Moving on to this triangle over here. So the sine theta of this triangle would be NS over PS equals ns over ps now to find the value of ns we have to cross multiply this so we get ns equals ps sine theta and now cos theta of this triangle would be cos theta equals to the adjacent side over the hypotenuse which is pn over ps pn over ps so the value of Pn would be Ps cos theta. Now we substitute both of these values in the first equation over here. This is our equation number 1. R squared equals OP plus Pn from this equation is Ps cos theta whole squared. And Ns from this equation is P S sin theta. From here the value of O P is vector A and the value of P S is vector B. Why? Because they are parallel and of same magnitude to each other. So this is also vector B. Now we substitute A and B in this equation. We get R squared equals vector A plus vector B cos theta whole squared plus ps which is vector b sine theta whole squared on opening up the brackets we get r squared equals a squared plus b squared cos squared theta squared theta plus twice a b cos theta and then plus b squared 
sin squared theta. Now on rearranging the terms, we get a squared plus this term over here, 2ab cos theta plus this term over here, b squared cos squared theta plus b squared sin squared theta which equals a squared plus 2ab cos theta now from these two terms we can take the b squared out so the b squared is common cos squared theta sin squared theta now this is a famous identity for which the value is 1 so r squared equals a squared plus b squared plus 2ab cos theta which leads us to our final answer which equals r equals a squared plus b squared plus 2ab cos theta whole under root now this expression will give us the magnitude of this resultant over here for integrated pi i'm kostub dev